Now we're going to go to GEPAS. You can follow the link or uh, type in the address shown in blue. Uh, they have a lot of really interesting data analysis tools, and we're going to look at a few of them. So if you click on tools, there's all of this, uh, all of these categories and pre-processing, viewing, clustering, differential expression, classification, data mining. Uh, definitely a lot of helpful utilities here. We're just going to look at uh, one or two. So now we need that uh, text file, the FIRO Blast GEPAS, that file, um, as, a, as data that we're going to input into our tools. So here's the home page. Let's click on the Tools button. And we have a list of these different categories and tools in which we can look at. We're going to go ahead and click on the Soda Tree tool. Um, in the upload section, you can find that Fiberblast input text file, upload it, and then you can hit go um, to run the tool. And we can look at a number of different output files. <laughs> yeah, it depends what we are looking for as far as our experiment or what we're studying with this microarray or this Fiberblast study. So here's a little bit of the output data. We'll go back in a second. And it's nice because they also will format this in clusters. So they'll arrange our microarray data on similarity in clusters. So we have quite a few clusters here. Uh, but that can be really helpful if you're trying to compare, um, compare samples. And that's all we're going to look at for GPAS. But there you have it. There's our experiment. Hope you learned a little bit.